will be right by the shoulder, babe. And when the weather gets colder, know that I'm right there. Said you should know that I'm right there. Oh, wow. Guys, we're currently at the airport because this one kidnapped me and made me think that I was going to a dinner and a movie tonight in downtown, but instead we're at the airport going to New York City. He's gonna bring me on a shopping spree to Reformation. I just want to document this so I have a record of him <laughs> agreeing to buy me stuff. <laughs> but I'm so excited because I got tickets to go to Top of the Rock. That's where I've always wanted to go. I thought it was the Empire State Building and I realized it wasn't the right place that I wanted to go. But yeah, we're gonna be boarding soon. So we'll document our little New York trip. Also, he made friends with this guy at Customs. They were talking for 30 minutes about sneakers because they were both hype beasts. This is me waiting for them. That's it. I will be by by the shoulder, babe. And when the weather gets colder, know that I'm right there. Said you should know that I'm right there. Oh, wow. I will be by by the shoulder, babe. And when the weather gets colder, know that I'm right there. Said you should know that I'm right there. Oh, wow. Oh my god, so I'm so nervous. Is it just John Leonard Dick is in. What are you doing to me? Is it just this one? All right, here. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Okay, you hold I'm the also camera. nervous because I've never seen here. Okay, well, you got the. What room are we? 2908. Is this thing? The linen shoe? Yeah, <laughs> it's by the. 2908. Yes, so. No, it's not turning green. Give me the other card. It's weird. Did she actually do the first? Uh, two, nine, four. Um, it's not working, bro. It sounds like someone's there, too. What? The camera. I don't know. Why does the sink go here? Oh my gosh. It's so many. What does it say here? Oh my gosh. I need like. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Me. Look at the camera. Off, <laughs> okay. Whoa. Yeah. Like, hello, lovebirds. We are excited that you will be staying with us for such a special occasion. Please enjoy a little tree on us, and if you need anything, please let us know. Uh, how well this is. Guys, look at this. Look what John did for me. He left roses. Okay, I cannot deal with lighting, so y'all just gotta deal with the darkness. There's roses. The best. But, like, look at this view. I'm, like, so shook because it's always been, like, my... Aww, he ruined the view. Because <laughs> it reflects. Oh, okay. Let me try it Guys, I've always wanted to stay in a hotel in New York that has like, I don't know if this is a New York City skyline, but like just the New York City light. Guys, this is so dope. Thanks, baby. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> and then to celebrate that we're in New York? No, it's for celebration. Guys, we got free champagne. It's not even champagne, it's Damn. Prosecco. Champagne is Prosecco, bro. We work a lot of it. We got two macaroons. John can't have it because he's lactose. We got some uh, bougie box water. Anyone care for it? Um, but guys, look at him ruining my flowers of 
heart, my heart flowers. We're all keeping it up. Guys, and we're also, damn, how do people do this on YouTube? Yo, it's not focusing. You're focusing the wrong thing. Oh, there you go. We're also beside Koreatown. But they closed on Kyantan Chicken and I'm kind of sad. So, yeah, we're just gonna try to figure out this. Did you re put it back together? Yeah, because you said. <laughs> But I don't know what this Okay, so me and John's dilemma is what do you do with the flowers on the bed after you get surprised from it? What is this? Place? There is no bin to put the flowers in. I will be by by the shoulder bay. And when the weather gets colder, know that I'm right there. Said you should know that I'm right there. Oh, wow. I will be by by the shoulder bay. And when the weather gets colder, know that I'm right there. Good morning! This is now my fiance! <laughs> what? So rude. <laughs> Doesn't even show me any love. <laughs> but we're starting the morning off since we're only here in the city for one day. We're gonna go to Top of the Rock. I've never been, but I've seen so many pictures and I've been dying to go. So when I found out I was going to New York um, yesterday night, I like quickly went online and bought tickets for it. So we're gonna go take some pictures, but it looks so cool in the entrance. But we'll show you when we get up there. Guys, so we spent $100 to come to Top of the Rock and then only to get this. <laughs> there is literally no view because it was so like foggy from the rain that I didn't even notice that like when we were leaving our hotel like it was so clear so I was like oh yeah like we'll totally see the view this is what we see you know those Instagram worthy photos will just be blanked up by fog now so I'm gonna go take pictures oh my god I'm gonna go take pictures and then get back to you guys I feel like such a tourist what's happening oh my god what is this breaking news okay <laughs> Guys, we need to find a place to shoot a nice engagement photo. I don't know where. I don't know. This 48th Street? I don't know. He asked me as if I knew where we are. He's trying to get us an Uber because we're going to go to Soho. Because I love Soho. And then we're going to go hype beach shopping. Peace. I've been wanting to come to Jack Trader's Way for so long. Look at our food. So good. And then look at my fiance. John is so excited to go to all his streetwear stores. We're currently on the hunt for Just, uh, the store Noah. Yo, rest in peace his wallet. Oh, I see it. Is it that it? Yep, that's what it's right there. Okay. Uh, when you go to your favorite city for this one only <laughs> but yeah maybe we'll do a haul in the I can't film this way wait guys maybe we'll do a haul when we get back to no this is Upton that's not Noah right there oh never mind I lied I have no idea where we are anyways maybe we'll do a haul <laughs> when we're in the hotel room because we're getting a lot of stuff and I only have a duffel bag so let's see how that goes shopping at Reformation and they have a sale for 30 to 40 percent off or 50 percent off off certain items uh please do not mind my boobs but what do you think no i'm not wearing i'm not buying the denim it's just because i wore a dress so i need something on the bottom but do you guys like this if i wore it like this i feel like for the summer it's kind of cute but i probably i don't know i feel like it's style it kind of cute but i don't know I have the long sleeve version of the top, so I'm gonna see if that's cuter. But this is 50% off. I'm just trying to figure out how to wear it. If I would wear it with a bra or no bra, because I have bigger boobs and I feel like this was meant for someone that was flat chested. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know my next look. The next top. I just showed it to John and he does not like it because the only thing is like I think I like this color better because if I don't wear a bra, you don't really see my like nips. But the only thing is like. The neckline is nice here, but it's like weird here, and I can't wear it like that because it doesn't hide. It's just a flap there, and it just looks funny. You guys, I really want some reformation, so I'm gonna try to look around and see. I already bought a dress from here from Black Friday, so I'm trying to find maybe a top or something. That's all. We're getting food now. 
because we're hungry. I think but I know why that is doing that. That's because of your case. It's got your phone case. Oh. Because the moisture not my phone gets case. stuck. The moisture gets not the phone case. Sorry, it's that's my screen, screen protector. protector. So sorry for the weird glow around the screen, guys. As per John's explanation, we're eating because we shopped way too much. He shopped way too much. I've just been carrying his bags. But we're eating Tarashi. And then we're gonna resume shopping after. Because that's what you do in New York. And then we're gonna go try to take a cute picture for like an engagement photo. Hi guys. John's regretting not buying something from Palace. Not regretting. We just came back to the hotel room after being in Soho for how many hours? From 10 till 5? How many hours is that? 7 hours. 7 hours? We went to every hype store that ever existed. And shop till we drop. We actually shopped more for other people that wanted us to buy things for them than we did for ourselves. But it's all cool because we love them. But now, he is looking through a palace and doesn't know if he wants to go back or not. No, yeah. let's not go back. No. But what if they have the... I don't think they would. He's trying to justify if he needs more stuff. Just making sure. But I have to love him for it because now he's my... My Beyonce. <laughs> or Beyonce. Guys, we're getting old. We're engaged. <gasps> Yikes. How do you feel? Day one being engaged, my man. What did you do? Tell them what you did. We went to Jack's Life for you. That was amazing. That is not how we got engaged. You have to tell the peeps. The peeps want to know. What? All your fans want to know how you did the proposal. Can okay, you have to give a recap of what we, how you did it, how it all started? How it all started. Okay, I'll kick it off for you. Okay. He, John asked me to go to dinner on, I think, Thursday. He's like, let's do dinner Friday. Like, I'll treat you out. And like, every now and then we like go downtown, we have dinner and just treat ourselves out from just being so tired from the work week and then I was like oh okay like not thinking much of it because that's something that we normally do and then the whole day like on the Friday I was like looking forward to getting off because he's like oh let's do a dinner and a movie and that's honestly like what I love to do I just love eating food and then just sitting in a recliner at a nice movie theater and just watching a movie and so I was really excited and then the whole day, like during the day, I was just like asking him like, okay, what time do you want the movie to be? And he kept changing the story subject, but I totally didn't even notice. I just thought he was just busy and didn't want to answer me. And then I got off work, drove downtown to pick him up. And then he kept asking me to switch seats, like asking me to sit in the passenger seat while he sits in the driver's seat when I thought I already parked to go eat. And then all of a sudden he kidnaps me and drives me to... Your turn. The airport. Because? We're going to New York. And then I went to New York from a really bad flight. And I was a shook. really stinky taxi. Yeah, we had a, a flight that was like the, the, what I say, like the heat of a microwave. Doesn't even make sense. Basically. Felt like we were in a microwave, essentially. Yeah. But the whole time, like, I was so confused. Like, when he drove up to the park and fly, I was like, are we going somewhere? And then he was, like, talking to the bus driver about, like, which terminal we need to be at. And then that's when I knew, like, we were going somewhere. And in my gut feeling, I knew that we we're going to New York because I've been asking for it for so long this year. And then we end up here. We got to New York. We... Went to the, we're staying at the Arlo Nomad, is it, no Arlo, is it Nomad? Yeah, it's Arlo Nomad Nomad Hotel, which is amazing because the view is so nice and we're on the highest floor, we're on the 29th floor. And then... That was because I emailed them to let them know that something might happen here. Yeah. And then, we came here and there was flowers. And Roses. That made a heart. I'll have the clip in. Whatever you filmed. 
Yeah. And then, and then what happened? And then we lie down on the rose petals, and then we started talking, and then it just felt right. And then I took out the. You took out the ring. And. And the whole time I was trying to hide under the bed covers because I was like freaking out. I was just like shaking the fact that I knew it was gonna happen, but I just didn't know when and like what to do when it does. And a lot of people was wondering if I cried and I didn't cry because I knew it was coming. But I think I was just like more in shock than I was like emotional. But I think I was emotional when I knew that we were flying to New York because then at that moment I knew that it was going to happen while we're in New York, but I just didn't know when. And so I just felt like on edge the whole time. But like I was like, I don't know. I was like, I was such a confused child. If anyone saw my Instagram stories, I couldn't even spell in half of the in half of the clips. Slash, I couldn't even talk in half of the clips. Like I didn't even make any sense. So if you guys go on my highlights, you can see all that fumbleness. But yeah, now we're two engaged kids trying to make it out there. Trying to make it out in the world. Trying to make it out in the world. Figure out what it is to be engaged. Engaged. <laughs> but yeah, here's my ring. Will it focus? Oh, well. At first, I thought the ring was really small. And then I looked at my hand. I'm like, holy. It's literally eating up my hand. But yeah. He did good, guys. Where yeah. is, um... Okay, peace out. Shoe hype overload. We're at the new Nike Innovation Lab store. I don't know, don't quote me on these things. But look how freaking dope is this place. Holy. Yep. This boy's been shopping and he's gonna keep on shopping. Bye, New York. Be back.